Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, the Magic Sculpt Resin and Hardener, and we're going to use this putty to make a, a little base for a Panzer III project that we're working on. We're going to, and I'll show you how to build it. Let's get started. This is a thank you message to all of my subscribers. Thanks to you, our channel has hit over 10,000 subscribers in just 10 months, which is phenomenal for a plastic model building site. Thank you very much. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is plan out the little simple base we're going to do. I've taken the uh, Panzer III body that we're work going to be working on real soon, laid it out how I want to display it on the diorama. We're also going to build up uh, some palm tree kits, being a North African diorama. So this is what the resin piece is going to be like. So we'll have like two palm trees coming out, probably cut those down a little bit in size so they're not that large. I also went and found, I think there's some really nice looking rocks that will go really well in our diorama. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take your magic sculpt and you want to get an equal amount of resin and hardener mixed together and this part is just that simple, just start mixing it together. And you want to get a uniform color throughout, throughout the process and then you want to keep a little water on hand too. You may have seen Steve work on some of this stuff when he does some of his bags and backpacks and things like that videos okay now that we've uh, mixed this for about five minutes we've got a nice uniform color throughout uh, one thing about this stuff this stuff is going to dry rock hard I mean really really hard and it sticks really well to whatever it gets on so we have a little bit of time to mess around with it so just decided to use just a, a can and we'll just kind of roll it out because it is pretty thick stuff and whatever you use to do it it's got to be really wet too Now that we have the uh, magic sculpt in the uh, sh general shape that we want, uh, we're going to sprinkle it with a little ballast and apply the rocks that I had talked about earlier. And we're also going to put some imprints in for the trees and for the tracks. Okay, we've let the uh, the resin dry rock hard, and then I went around with masking tape and a little micro mask to fill in all the little areas right here. So as we paint it, we won't get any on there because this stuff will actually peel right off. So let's put a coat of uh, desert yellow onto it.
did one more change. I didn't like the way the uh, the red of the wood looked against the desert, so I went and painted the uh, the base black, and then went back over and did all the highlighting on the uh, base. It took a little bit of time, but I, I like the way the black looks as a contrast to it. So the next step we'll be doing, of course, is we'll be putting in the palm trees. Um, I have to build those first. Okay, the palm trees I'm using are made by a company called Heart of the South Models. And what it is is they've been die cut on a like a sticky back. And once you pull it off the back right here, you, you get a little piece of wire. And then what we'll do is glue that on. And just using a touch of super glue to make sure it sticks really well. Just putting a little bead down there. That way we're making sure that it does stick the entire length of the uh, piece. And got one already done up right here that you can you can see we start to bend now we'll paint it of course and when we get them all done together and then using clay they want you to just start attaching them that way uh, after all the uh, fronds have been put in place you super glue all through in there so the the fronds don't come out so now that we've uh, put that on we're gonna take a little of Tamiya's deep green XF26 and we're going to paint. Uh, now we're going to use a little dark yellow to spray the tips to give it the effect that the uh, the tips are starting to brown and burn. And we're even going to darken, lighten this one up as if it's a frond that's completely dying. Some of these lower ones. Uh, living in Arizona we have lots of palm trees here so it's very easy to go out and see. Most of them do have a little bit of burning on the, all the tips of it. Nothing, nothing too great, just a little subtle. The last thing I went ahead and did and is I sprayed just the tops of the fronds with a little gloss coat to give them kind of a little bit of a shine to it because most plants do have a little bit of it. You can kind of see as an up ahead view, top shot. Here we are, here's our completed base. And here is the Panzer III that I've in the process of working on for our next video and that'll drop right into uh, place right there on the uh, base add a nice little highlight to it kind of spin this around you can see the rocks and probably can even put a figure back here the trees look pretty good I think with as a contrast to the vehicle and once we paint that up it'll look really good thanks again for watching and the video on the Panzer 3 should be up very soon